This is Danica, and by the age of six, she had only ever lived inside this Ukrainian orphanage. Her first visitors ever were Tom and Tammy Wetmore. I don't know, it's just you felt it in your heart. I mean, we knew as soon as I saw her. I just, I knew in my spirit, just go get your daughter. <laughs> That's exactly what I felt. Danica was born with treacher Collins syndrome, resulting in deafness and bones missing from her face. Because of her challenges, the Wetmores were told the chances were as she grew, Danica would be turned out of the orphanage to live on the streets. Where were you born? Okay. You were born in Ukraine? How did you get here? Hmm? Moved. <laughs> oh, right here. Come skip by me. I'm dying. Six years later, she's happy, loved, and safe with her family. She's quirky, extremely inquisitive, very artistic, loves drawing, painting, expressing herself. Cantaloupe? Pineapple? At this point, perhaps you're wondering, what inspired the Wetmores to open their hearts to a girl from the other side of the world with serious medical concerns? This is the answer. Their daughter, Juliana. Born into the family six years before Danica showed up, she too has treacher Collins syndrome. When she was born, along with deafness, she was missing 40% of the bones in her face. You forget that there's anything different about her after she's sitting there for five minutes. <laughs> Juliana has endured 45 surgeries for her face, but her body and her brain have always been perfectly healthy. And her spirit, always bright. What, what's inside of her? Pure love. <laughs> she <laughs> loves everybody. She just she doesn't judge anybody. She doesn't see anybody as different. She just takes everybody as the same. What are some of your favorite things to do? <laughs> favorite thing to do is watch movies. <laughs> Pretty good. I like it. Whatever you first think of somebody when you see them, you know, on the outside, that's not what they are on the inside. What is Juliana on the inside? She's the girl whose strength inspired her parents to find room in their hearts for Danica, turning them into people who could understand the challenges ahead better than most. Did Juliana essentially save Danica. Um, I mean, she had been in an orphanage for six and a half years and nobody had ever visited her. Nobody had ever inquired about her. We were, we were the first and only ones. And the Wetmore's love didn't stop with Danica. After her, they still had more room in their hearts to adopt three siblings who desperately needed a home. Even further, it's just amazing how your daughter that you look at is just a normal, everyday child that looks a little bit different has changed so many lives because people realize it's okay to be who you are. Nothing, it seems, comes easier to Juliana than that. David Schechter, Channel 8 News.